tonight. On Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon heads to Plainfield, New Jersey to turn around a soul food restaurant. What system are we following? That is run with an iron fist. I want you guys off the line. By an owner named Shelley. Even though her restaurant is failing miserably, the doors will close. Your livelihood is on the line. She refuses to listen to anybody. Not her staff. Dwayne, be quiet. Not her mother. It is not over. It's over. Or even Chef Ramsay. Shelly, I'm coming. Ugh. And while there are huge problems with the food, I need the toilet. <laughs> Holy crap. The decor. I feel like Donna Summer's going to come through the door. And the conditions. Oh my god. Wow. The biggest problem is Shelly. I can't believe this. Can Chef Ramsay save this restaurant from an owner who is in complete denial? You have to get out of denial. It doesn't really matter to me what other people think. One thing's for sure, you won't believe how it ends. I'll punch you in the face. That's tonight. Close the damn place down. On a shocking Kitchen Nightmares. Shut it down. Let's go. It's over. What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. This is I'm off. Not Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. Plainfield, New Jersey, a middle class city with a strong sense of community. And smack in the middle of town is a soul food restaurant named Blackberries run by a once successful caterer named Shelly Withers. Hello, the gang's all here, huh? My catering business was fantastic. I had such a tremendous following. It just seemed natural that I would move on to open a restaurant. Hi, how are you? Welcome. And with her mother, Mary, investing her entire retirement fund into the restaurant, Shelly's dream came true. Daddy put the check in the bank this afternoon. Oh, OK. I think it's a parent's responsibility to be supportive of their children. I am so happy with the way the restaurant turned out. The decor is phenomenal. I'm not sure if I understand the records. And Blackberries has the best soul food in town, no doubt. Fried collard greens is my favorite. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The shrimp was firm. That's because I forgot them on the stove. <laughs> Perfect location perfect food, but where are my customers? The problem is Shelly is in denial. She thinks that the decor is amazing and the food tastes spectacular. I like it. But the food is suffering, the customers are suffering, and the restaurant is suffering. The macaroni actually fell <laughs> like Shelly believes that all of her food is better than any chef out there. Too done? Too done is perfect. She feels this is the way I want it. It tastes good. It doesn't matter what someone else thinks about it. It being my restaurant, I'm going to have it my way. I don't want the food to touch. I say it every day, and okay. you're doing it to me anyway, right? It don't make sense to me. Shelly is a super control freak to the 110th power. I need you to knock these motherfuckers down. Just get it out. What what I what system are we following here? It's no system. We have 16 people working back here and 16 people doing their own system. Table five right there in the front. Where is it, please? Guys, it's hot back here. Why is everybody back here? Because we ain't got no food out here. She thinks she knows what she's doing when she actually has no idea what she's doing. Tell me what I can do to help. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. And that brings a lot of chaos here. Let me see that plate. She's helping the restaurant to fail even more. Not that many customers, though, huh? Things are bad. I'm $200,000 in debt. I'm barely holding on here. I got $14 to my name. Bro. Like I tell Shelly, it's just not only her if this restaurant fails, because I have sacrificed a lot to make sure that the doors didn't close. I believe in the power of prayer. I think Chef Ramsay is the answer to her prayers. What an amazing, buzzy little town. Great location for a restaurant. Hello. Hello. Good How are afternoon. You? Good night, Wes. Welcome to Blackberry. Thank you. Very happy to be here. I'm happy um, to have you here. Wow. Look at this place. Somebody having a party? No, 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 no,
no party. We're no. just having um, lunch. Okay, great. Let me seat you. Okay, I'll sit over here. And this big boy there, who's this that? This is James. I'm James. James, what's your job? General manager. Stop it. With a baby face like that, you can't be yeah. management. Get out of here. <laughs> you look about 18. How old are you? I'm 30 years old. Wow. Amazing. Aging well. And this is? Mom Mary. Mother Mary. Yes, sir. You look great. Nice. Thank what you. do you do? The cakes, the pies, the desserts, really. She's our baker. OK, great. Lord Ramsey is here. I don't want to be sweating all over him. <laughs> Can I kiss him? Can I give him a kiss and thank him for coming or what? Yeah, about to be our own. Well. Hey, how are you, bud? How are you? How you doing, Good Chef to see you. You're running My around. Pleasure. You're busy, yeah. aren't you? I have to be. Huh? Somebody's got to get it done. How long have you been here? Oh, three years. Who and designed this place? I feel like Donna Summer's going to come through the door. That would be Michelle. I think that would be me. Oh. I absolutely love the decor. And dance, party, that's me. Wow. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> OK. Well, hello, uh, darling. <laughs> Look at those beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> I would ask my fiance if I could kiss you. Fiance? He's her manager. The one? Yeah. Oh, come on. Sexy, right? <laughs> You'll get arrested for cradle snatching. Mm, hey, general manager, say. come here. <laughs> get that beard over here. You didn't tell me that you're dating the owner. <laughs> we are, Excuse me. We are engaged. <laughs> amazing. And was it love at first bite? Yeah. Wow. Way to a man's okay. heart is a stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's a little younger than I am, but he's my sexy chocolate. <laughs> Let me sit down and have a quick look through the menu and start ordering. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Gordon. I'm going to see as much as I can. OK. Uh, right, let's go for uh, collard greens. Yes. That smothered pork chop sounds delicious. Let's go for some mac and cheese okay. as well, please. OK. The chitlins. And desserts. How's the bread velvet cake? Delicious. OK, great. Very well, thank you. I'm starving. Okay. We're going to put your order in. Excellent. All right, guys, we have our order for Chef. All right, let's do it. I really think that Chef Ramsay is going to say that the food is phenomenal. With the pork chop, put some mac. This is not hot. Just microwave it. This is the craziest decor I've ever seen. Wow, another record. Yeah, they're all over. So her first name is? Eloise. Eloise, yeah. uh, what's the what? Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Was it the fried chicken or the cornbread? What, what went? Chitlins? Oh, my what happened? goodness. I have no idea. I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did somebody headbutt the wall? It was shocking to find okay. that it was a hole in the wall with a record on it. I was just like, oh my god, like, what the hell is that doing there? I've heard about broken records, but Jesus Christ. OK, let's get out of here quick. <laughs> I'm afraid to touch any other records. All right, here you go. Oh, now you know that is a pretty plate, right? <laughs> Shelly is delusional about how fabulous her food is. I hate the macaroni and cheese. Just looks like crap on a plate. This is pork chop, the smothered pork chop. Thank you. Just like someone shot on my plate. It's just dry. That's bland. Nothing seasoned there. How's your pork chop? Yeah, the pork chop is dry. The mac and cheese is way overcooked and very mushy. You think a soul food restaurant would pride itself on cooking mac and cheese, but no, it's just all... Is that heated in the microwave, though? No, I think they just put it in the, in the oven to warm for our lunch service. Thank you. What's wrong? He's saying that the macaroni and cheese is dry and overcooked. Ooh. He asked me, have we warmed it in the microwave? I told him, no, it just came out of the oven. They may have put it in the microwave for a minute. Only for a minute, though. Everything is cooked to perfection. There is nothing on that menu that is not perfect. OK, here we go. I'm taking over now. Five collard greens. Move it to the middle. Put an orange chip in the middle. That's it. How can you actually say this is a soul food restaurant? Are the collard greens are not tasting like collard greens? Since it's just like pepper soil, you know, you can't have food tasting like that. Tell Chef I said to taste those collard greens. They're perfect. Here you go, Chef. Collard greens. 
Wow. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. Wow. It's bland, no seasoning. It's just fried and soggy and limp. Uh, James, what do you think? You got to eat it all together. If you eat it all together, mm -hmm. it's just. Well, I did eat it all together. It still stayed bland. Thank you. Oh my God. What is he saying about our stuff now? Little bland. Oh my God. Collard greens. He's great. He's crazy. Where's the chitlins at? It's in the microwave. They're delicious. If we get one out of three, we might be all right. And this is the chitlins and okra. Okay. Chitlets. I mean, I know chitlets are the intestine, but should they really stink? Before I do taste them, I'd like to pray to God before I put any of that in my mouth. <laughs> in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. <laughs> we rebuke the spirit of the devil. Yeah. You are prayed over. We guarantee you that you are not about to succumb to those chitlins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I just had to pray over Chef before he ate the chitlins. What the fuck? There's no prayers going to save me on this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Chitlins. Shitlets. I need the toilet. Excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Chef Ramsey is a mess. Oh, it's chicken and gross. He's like they have to throw one up. Throw one up? Holy crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, they stink. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be taking it lightly and not seriously at all? Is he in the children's bathroom? I'm not sure, but I guess with a the prayer didn't work. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. You're not used to that soul food, huh? <laughs> Thank you. I want to see what's going on. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> so we've got the red velvet. velvet. Mom Mary makes all of our desserts. Mom Mary. Yes. Wow. Thank you, babe. That is delicious. Finally, some good fucking food. Wow. How do you like this? That is delicious. Well done. Wow. I had to wait to the end. I've been saved by Mother Mary. Of course, the red velvet that Mommy makes is going to be beautiful, right? Because Mommy made it. I'm going to punch him in the face. You watch this thing. <laughs> Just show me into the kitchen, please. Yes, Thank you. I sure will. Yep. The chef is on his way back. I'm scared. I would, I would, I'm scared to bring him here. Shelly doesn't listen. When Ramsey gets back there in the kitchen, we'll see if she even opens up to any suggestions or not. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Mateen. Mateen, good yes, to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. Likewise. Portia. How are you? Sir. Pleasure. Um, this is Tyrone. Oh, Tyrone. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, so, I've just had an embarrassing lunch. Let's start from the top. Pork chop, dry, bland, no seasoning. And the macaroni and cheese was an embarrassment. The fried collard greens, there's no seasoning. Everything's just fried, so it just tasted of oil. And horrible. The chitlins, but the smell of them almost made me want to gag. I absolutely do not believe that there's that much wrong with my food. Who is the head chef here? I am. Show me tonight. OK. Well, you think you are the head chef. All right. As Shelly and the staff prepare for dinner service. Woo! The food is good up, you know, to my standards. <laughs> Chef Ramsay returns and is greeted by an unexpected guest. Oh, what is that? Bloody hell. Damn. Oh my god. Wow. It's just 10 minutes before the doors to Blackberries open, and Chef Ramsay is greeted by something unexpected. Bloody hell. That 
Have you got a bin? Yes, Chef. The mouse? Just by the front door. Huh? I, it's by the door. No. We just had the exterminator. You, you paid for the exterminator? Sure. Get your money back. OK, that's not funny. I've got an incinerator outside. Can you take that? No? As a general manager, do something with it. The mouse. The mouse? It was in the entrance as I walked in on the left-hand side. mouse? A mouse? We always have the exterminator once a month for prevention. Are you serious? No fucking word. A mouse? Come on. Front door, not even in the kitchen. Hey guys, be careful of mice. Can you show me where you found that at? It was at the front door. Like where? Oh, well, where's the front door in your mind? I can't believe that. I came in the door, walked in there, saw him, bang, right there. Right here. Do you have it on film? Are you kidding me? What, you thought I brought it in out of my pocket? Yeah, I think you did. Are you, are you, are you fucking dreaming? I arrived, the never, mouse was there. Never, never, never here, never. There was no, no, never no mouse right here. Right, OK. Absurd. So we had the exterminator last week. They come on regular occasions. Yes. We yeah. have an issue with mice. That's why you have an exterminator. We, we don't have an issue with mice. An exterminator comes in okay. regularly. Just... Let's, let's, you and I do a little investigation. Let's go. Dwayne. When was the last time you spotted a mouse in here? I, I've never seen one. You've never seen one? No. Good. Except that one that was under the steam table that was dead a few months back. <laughs> Almost a year back. He found a mouse in the front door. I've never been so embarrassed and humiliated in my life. This is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. And sad. I've never seen a mice in here. Perhaps you planted that uh, mouse. And you are suggesting that I brought it in? I was like, hmm, I put it together, like, just for TV's sake, maybe. I, I wish you would talk a little bit of sense. Fuck the TV. Put really? your money where your mouth is, in front of your staff. I want a meeting upstairs with you and everybody now. Yes. Mice out of his pockets and stuff. You gotta take some responsibility for something, man. How you gonna help us if everybody keep bullshitting, man? A mouse in the front door. It it's, it's, it's mice infested all over this place. It can happen. It can happen. Shelly? Huh? Can I have a two seconds, please? Okay. Uh, all, all of you. This is very, very important. So. I was telling him, seeing him, like, almost like, plant that uh, vermin. Mm -hmm. So just look at James for me, two seconds. I walked in the front door, a mouse. The mouse that you planted, I know. They told me. But it's OK. No, it's not it's OK. A show. It's got nothing to do with TV, nothing to do with your business in the shit. I am not going to stand there and even attempt to take that crap from you. You can take your restaurant and stick it. I'm gone. I'm out of it. You out of here. I'm out of here. Excuse me. Go. See you later. Shut it down. Let's go. It's over. After discovering a mouse in the restaurant, do you have it on film? And being accused of planting it. The mouse that you planted, I know. Chef Ramsay has had enough. Take your restaurant and stick it. I'm gone. You out of here. I'm out of here. Excuse me. Go. See you later. Shut it down. Let's go. It's over. It is not over. Could you please shut up? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I have worked tremendously trying to support my child. And I don't understand. You know, it's, I, I don't understand what's happening today. Honest to God, I don't. Please don't leave. Yeah, no, I'm out of here. Please don't Because you're leave. exaggerating. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Just yeah. me and you? Yep. Yeah. I, I take back. 
what I said, as far as you doing something like that, I don't want to defame your character, but it just was, I'm lost for words that that happened and it, it just, it, it just like shocked me and I, I apologize. That's the most sensible thing I've heard you say since I've been here. Thank you. Sure. The combination of Mother Mary's plea and an apology by James are enough to keep Chef Ramsay at Blackberries. Welcome to Blackberries. At least for now. Your server this evening will be Tina. She'll be right with you. The grandma's original fresh chicken. OK. Southern style from And I'm going to get uh, macaroni and cheese. All right, ladies, let me put these orders in. First order, shrimp and grits. Would we'll probably be a shrimp and grit night. Am I seeing right? You've got a, a free burner wok there. Is that a pizza oven? Yes, that's my pizza oven. And the wok. Okay. I love it, Chef. Shelly, how can you cook soul food in a wok? Watch me, Chef. Watch me. Soul food is supposed to be cooked slowly. Soul is supposed to be cooked with love and soul, not in a wok. Shelly's cooking green beans in a wok, cooking rice in a wok, cabbage in a wok. We're not a Chinese soul food restaurant. We don't need a wok, OK? That's the first of me, a southern food restaurant with a Chinese wok and a pizza oven. And you have an oven that doesn't work right there. Tell me what's working, apart from you. <laughs> we haven't had correct working ovens. We don't have the correct stoves, the correct fryers, grills. You know, how can we produce really great food if we don't have really great ovens? How do you manage to fry everything in one fry like that? Very hard. A lot of prayer. After discovering unusual and dysfunctional equipment in this soul food restaurant, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Shelly and how she runs her kitchen. Fried chicken, please. How many white meats do you need? Fried chicken, Mateen. Well, I'm going to call the artist. You can't call Honey, the artist. do again. your ticket. I'm do doing this. It. Let's get one thing straight. OK. Can you please work on ticket one? We are. Are we? I mean, I don't understand what you're okay, doing. You're walking um, in damn circles. Shelly has no concept of what it means to actually run a proper, functional kitchen. Portia. One ticket at a time I need you to do it. That's I, what I, I'm, I'm doing. OK, just one. Just do one. That's, what, that's how I do, one. Just make it and send it. That's it. Make it and send it. Unbelievable. And where's the control, the chef, the, the system? What, what system are we following here? It's like there's no system. I mean, this is a joke. If you try to get one, she wants to argue you down. You know, she wants to argue you down and make it seem like you're the one that's wrong, or it can't be run like that. But it's not making or it's, sense. Or it's too incompetent. Look, right down there. Look, down there. Look. Yeah, it's like, one, you know, two, it's three. Six down there. I want you guys off the line. Just go. Watch out. Just back up. It's getting ridiculous get already. It's been an hour and a half. She just kind of want to get up and move. How long are we waiting, Dwayne? Close to an hour. An hour. my first time in here, and it's just dysfunctional. There doesn't seem to be one person controlling it. I have the recipes. I'm the exec. Oh, my Shit. god! Shelly thinks she knows what she's doing when she actually has no idea what she's doing. We need a miracle, a prayer, hands on bending knees, because this is going to the shits. Here we go, fried chicken. Despite the ongoing chaos in the kitchen, dishes somehow make their way to the dining room. And that's the result. You wait 90 minutes, and this is what you're lucky to get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy in there. Huh? huh? That is crazy in there. Always. In yes. there's a war zone. Always. Huh? Always. Welcome to Blackberry. Step Ramsey. That's it, hell. What a welcoming. Coming up, is it her way or the highway? When the staff tries to get through to Shelly. I have been open-minded. She goes from the defensive to the offensive. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not upset. I want you to leave. Tell me to go, I go. And then at dinner service, Blackberry spirals out of control. I don't want to hear it. Leaving, leaving Chef Ramsay wondering. Shelly! If this restaurant can be saved. Now you walk away. Bye, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. See you later. It's day two at Blackberries, and Chef Ramsay knows that before he can implement changes, he has to focus on how this restaurant is run. And so he starts the day with a staff meeting. I want to go around now to identify things that you know that are wrong with the business and things that you'd like to change in the business. I think um, one thing is I've known Shelly 
we kind of grew up together, mm -hmm. and she is a control freak. If she does not see it being implemented the same way that she would do it, she's going to jump in and she's going to take over. But is it overbearing? Is it too controlling? Yes. It's either her way or the highway. And it inhibits anyone to show off their skills or what they can do or what they can bring to the restaurant. But you have someone that's down your throat constantly sure. and really doesn't know what they're doing. If you were so right, obviously the restaurant wouldn't be failing or in a situation that is in. No, but it's a very valid point. You've employed some talented individuals. OK. Portia. Shelley needs to learn how to delegate responsibility. She can't be hands-on all the time. It creates a problem. Oh, my god. Shelley, in all honesty, you take somebody out of what they're supposed to be doing and make them do something else. And that's one thing you got to realize, and that happens more often than I not. I think that you talk too much and you know too much. This is and the that attitude. Is part of that's the problem. what makes this so rough. Dwayne, well, be at quiet. One time or another, Dwayne, everybody has been Dwayne, pushed off their position. Dwayne, calm down. I'm not, and I wasn't upset. Dwayne, I tried to tell you something. I'm, I'm asking right, right. you to calm down. I'm not, I'm not I upset. I want you to leave. Good night. I don't have Thank a problem you so with much that. Because the truth honestly hurts. The truth hurts. Right, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. Whatever. We're going to fix that. Like you said, Dwayne, tell me to Dwayne, go, I go. Dwayne, just bear with me for two minutes. Sit down, Thank please. You. OK? My Big deep breath. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I made one comment. What's become evident is how fragmented we are. But that starts from the top. Chef, Shelly have to learn how to listen. Everybody tries to communicate with her and support her. But if she's going to be stubborn and not listen, the doors will close. And that would just break my heart, I mean, tremendously. From now on in, open, honest dialogue Got it? Yes. Shelly? Shelly, I can't hear you. I'm listening. No? We're all I'm in listening. together. Are we going to be open-minded? I have been open-minded, as far as I'm concerned. Why would you say that? This is not a joke. Your livelihood is on the line. I mean, you're in a serious, serious position. There's no reason why you cannot be open and honest, because my I'm 72 years old. Oh, and I thank sense. God that I've been able to live this long. And these are the most important things that I try to project. Listen to what this gentleman has to say. I want to move forward. I'm here to help. Right. And the direction is to you, Shelley, because there's some valuable information that we've just listened to. We know you're the boss. What you haven't got right now is a successful restaurant. And everyone in this room, including me, are here to make that a success. But you have to get out of denial. Okay. Agreed? Agreed. I can't hear you. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Only time will tell whether Shelley has really understood what the staff was saying. Come with me. Let's go in the kitchen. Let's get to work. But Chef Ramsay has already implemented a drastic change in the kitchen. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I called a friend, Kelly Quip, and he arranged for a brand new fryer and a state-of-the-art six-ring burner, an amazing convection oven from South Bend. Incredible. Oh, um, a six-burner stove, Tyrone. I just can't believe Unbelievable. I've had it done, especially for your baking as well. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. I'm bursting at the seams. Just, I, I just can't believe it. Oh man, this is awesome. Is the wok gone? There's no way on earth we can start to move forward cooking on a Chinese wok. A wok that you cannot cook soul food on. We can have a proper system here. Where's the wok? <laughs> I am definitely going to miss my wok. But it's just going to be an adjustment for me. Oh, my God. Incredible. I just can't believe this. Happy Mary? Father God, I just can't thank you enough. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Oh, this is just so wonderful. This just... is truly, truly a blessing. Chef Ramsay is, he's unbelievable. I truly believe in the power of prayer. 
I prayed so hard that you would come and that you were gonna turn this restaurant around. I'm just so overwhelmed. I thank you so much. Now that the kitchen has functional equipment. Okay, there's one thing that's missing here. That's the structure. What, what system are we following here? We're gonna work as a team. Chef Ramsay appoints a leader. Tomorrow night, my team. Yes. I want you cooking yes. and expediting. Yes. Chef Ramsay helped implement a system to help this restaurant run very smoothly from now until forever. I'm gonna make something very, very simple with you all now, just a stunning mac and cheese. He also works with the chefs on some new cooking techniques. Golden brown, take a spoon and have a little taste. Chef Ramsay has suggestions. I'm gonna do my best to be as open as I can. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. We are gonna reopen this restaurant tomorrow night with a system. One voice, one leader. Yes. And work as a team, yes. a system. Don't change it. Coming up. Shelly. I'm coming. It's the relaunch of Blackberries. I don't oh, wanna hear it. Shelly. Will Shelly be able to handle the changes? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And later. A surprise ending. We have worked our ass off. You have to see to believe. Close the damn place down. After the implementation of a new system in the kitchen, Chef Ramsay and his team worked through the night to give the dining room a much needed makeover. OK, good morning. Excited to see you inside? Yes. Hi. Yeah. Yes? Let's go. Welcome to the new Blackberries. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, look at this sign! When I first arrived here, there was the cafeteria, the menu on the wall, and it just lost that intimacy. Now it's the restaurant. Gone is the cafeteria. You have a wonderful, amazing new restaurant. Brand new tables, brand new chairs, it's a totally but, different place. Look at my album. Yes. <laughs> I promise you, they're not your records. I love my new restaurant. The artwork, the tables, it's like a dream come true. I absolutely love it. The soul is back. I'm just so excited and so grateful. I'm just overwhelmed. Shelly, how do you feel? I feel great. Oh, 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 that's rare. Oh, oh. And thank God my middle name's James, right? <laughs> now that Blackberries has an updated look. Now for the exciting part, the food. Oh, wow. Chef Ramsay has created a fresh, new soul food menu to match it. What we've done is taken some of the dishes and modernized them a little bit, give them a bit of a, a new twist. Starting off with the black eyed pea fritters, delicious. Barbecue pulled pork sliders, wonderful starter. Entrees fried chicken and waffles with the honey butter. Oh, snap! I Next love one. that. A southern meatloaf sandwich done with mac and cheese and a spicy glaze, like a really nice, rich, spicy ketchup. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. Shelly looked like she was embracing the change very well. I'm glad that Chef Ramsay finally broke through to her. Is that beautiful? Dig in and have a taste. Oh, my God. Here we go. Fried chicken and waffles and blackberries. This menu is great. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. I think I have a winning combination here. Chef did it. Food, atmosphere, we're ready. Ooh, that's heavy. It's relaunch night at Blackberries. OK, we're about to open. We put a structure in place. And Chef Ramsay has given them all the tools they need to make this restaurant a success. Blackberries! Let's go. <laughs> Good afternoon, welcome to Blackberries. This is a nice looking menu. With the restaurant filling up. We're going to do the pork sliders. And orders coming in from the dining room. Okay, Order good. in. It's now up to the newly appointed leader, Chef Mateen, to take charge of the kitchen. One jerk wings, one shorty, one chicken with white meat. Fried chicken, white meat, six minutes. Echo. Thank you. Good. Off we go. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Let's go. With Chef Ramsay's new system in place and the team working together. Shelly, six minutes on my oxtails. Echo on the oxtails. Thank you. Dinner service is off to a smooth start. OK, here we go. We're rocking. And out in the dining room. Fried green tomatoes. Those are excellent. The customers are thrilled with what they are receiving. Yeah, 
I need an ox down shorty. Okay. Hey, Dad, you okay? The restaurant is packed. Wait till you see it. You're not going to believe it. I need an ox tail and a shorty right now. I'm on the line a little bit tonight. Shelly, Shelly, he was asking for stuff, and you're just ignoring him. I'm coming. OK. All right. Love you, Dad. You OK? Let's go, please. All right. Shelly being on the phone is totally disrespectful and a slap in the face to her kitchen team. What she's saying is, I don't give a damn. It's my world, and this is the way I'm going to do it. The rest of you, who cares? How long for my oxtail? What, what? Things are going really well at the beginning because they were being executed. But then I just don't think Shelly wanted to be there. I need an oxtail and a shorty first. <laughs> what? She's not in control. And if she's not in control, she doesn't want to follow it. Shelly. Yes, Shelly. It's like we just switched off and forgotten. Yeah. Why have we forgotten our systems? The most important thing about a system is keeping it, yes? Go back to your stations. I am the owner of this business. And I'm just not taking any shit from anyone. Hell no. What is this? What? Who put my corn in it? I did. It's dry. I don't want it to dry out, honey. Don't do that. Shelly. Yes, Shelly, don't do that. You're doing, you're going back again. I don't want it to dry out. Come here. No, 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 come here. Come here. Look at me. I only ask you, don't do it. Mateen, yes. we're going back again. We're going back to our old bullshit ways. Don't touch what he's doing. OK. You said it's dry. Was it dry, the corn? No, it wasn't no, dry. No, it, it wasn't, wasn't even fucking dry. It wasn't even done yet. Thank you. I don't care what you he don't says. Care. Chef Ramsay's system works. It's this Shelly that doesn't want it to work. So when it's sitting on the side, drying out, just leave it there? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't want to hear it. Shelly. No, sir. Shelly. I'm not talking back. Shelly, now you walk away. Bye. Goodbye. She's gone. Bye. See you later. It's relaunch night at Blackberries. Don't touch what he's doing. And as Chef Ramsay tries to keep everything on track, I don't want to hear it. Shelly goes off the rails. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's gone. And storms out of the kitchen. Bye. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What happened? They were doing so good. Yeah. Shelly started coming in and picking up bits and disrupting them. I asked her to stop it and let Mateen do it. And she got really funny. Ever since then, she just switched off. So she's, she's closed down. Shelly is a crybaby. She's not willing to admit that she's wrong. And that's pretty sad. With Shelly out of the kitchen. Stop everything you're doing. Play this one for me right now. Chef Mateen and the staff try to pull it together. OK, and we're going to send this ticket out right now. To get the remaining dishes to the hungry diners. I'm hungry. Mateen, Let's go. you've got to push it. Yes, Chef. You control the kitchen. Yes. I need right now, I need two fried green tomatoes. I need that now. Working. OK? Working. Nice. Let's go. Can you give Dwayne to take this out for table one, please? Dwayne, off you go. Table 50, let's go. Finally. Might be a little slow, but it's going to be great. With Mateen leading the kitchen. I need a side of fries up in the window now. Side of fries. Good. The final entrees make their way out to the dining room. Yay, we got our food. And customers are loving the food. It's worth the wait. Wonderful, I think. You guys are good. It ran so smooth. We have the system now. This right here is the first day of greatness of many more days to come. And I loved it a lot. Everything was great. Thank, Thank you. you. With the staff completing a successful relaunch, Chef Ramsay yeah. gathers the group. Uh, OK. But there's someone missing. Where's uh, Shelly? In the office. Shelly, can, uh, can I talk to you, please? Shelly? Shelly? No point in making yourself look any more stupid. Shelly, just two seconds. Not going to argue. She's not coming. We don't need her. Come on. Shelly needs to listen to Chef Ramsay. You just can't close ears to someone that's come to help you. Please. You really don't have anything to say. If, if you, don't you don't need to have anything to say. No. Just go outside. Out of respect for your staff. I love my staff. Well, then you want them to walk out on you and you'll have yeah, the restaurant? Let's go, man. I'll clean up tonight. My Forget staff. about cleaning up tonight. What about the rest of yeah. the days? Oh, dear. And I'm so ashamed of you that I don't it's know what mother. to do. 
Shelly, we have worked our ass oh, off. God, can you please well, get out my face? If you are done, close the damn place down. Let's go, Tyrone. I don't believe Shelly deserves all this great help she got. I mean, someone like me that's been cooking and went to culinary school would kill for something like this opportunity, you know? It saddens me so much. OK. I know it's been a rough night, but on a personal note, I just want to say thank you. Why? Because you guys worked your butt off. Nobody gave up. There's something personal about soul food for me. I started a small little documentary called Kitchen Nightmares seven years ago, and my first ever restaurant was a soul food shack. It's why I started to put him back into the industry, and you guys deserve success. He did a fantastic job. Chef Ramsay, he's up there with the best angels. I'm just so delighted and so grateful, and we are going to do our part to make him proud of us. We definitely will make sure that your efforts were not in vain. Thank you. Thank you. Shelly had the world's greatest chef in here to teach her and to help her business, but she may throw this all, the whole system out the window with the whole menu. Only time can tell. Can we have 30 seconds, please? I think this is my office. Are you asking me for 30 seconds at my office? Yes, I am. Absolutely not. OK. That just sums it up. Yeah. That's the only thing I haven't changed. <sighs> I really wanted a happy ending tonight. Why? Because this week I've met some amazing people. Mother Mary, what a sweetheart, and a phenomenal cook. Mateen, that guy has a bright future, and he is packed with passion. But the fate and the future of Blackberries rests in the hands of Shelley. And unfortunately, restaurants do not succeed when they're run by a dictator. I planted a mouse. Is she crazy? In the weeks that followed... Hi, nice to see you. Customers responded well to the changes Chef Ramsay made to the menu and the decor. Mm. The steak is tender. After witnessing the positive reviews, surprisingly, Shelly embraced all that Chef Ramsay has done for blackberries. Nice, right? Beautiful. I like it. I was so skeptical, but Chef Ramsay has opened up a new world for us here at Blackberries. I'm ready for change. It was difficult for me to see that at the beginning, but here it is. The truth is the light. You guys enjoy. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares. After two years in a coma, an owner returns what are you doing? to find that her son has run the restaurant into the ground. This restaurant is a pigsty. Oh, my God. The menu is massive. Look at all this food. And the kitchen is a health hazard. Smell that. That's fucking older than me. Will Chef Ramsay get through to this lazy owner? Come on, Michael. No. Or will his ailing mother see her life's work get completely trashed? Shut the place down.